And it could be months before investigators can officially determine what caused the bridge to collapse. Tonight, a South Bay civil engineering professor is weighing in. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Marzullo has that story. I don't think anyone designs or constructs for things to fail. The chair of Santa Clara University's civil engineering department does not think the accelerated construction was the cause of the collapse. Fast tracking is not a big deal. I think Arnold Schwarzenegger did it um, when he was the governor. He actually said, I will give you money for each day you save in construction. And people got it done. We had no failures. The span in Florida was built on the side of the road, then moved into place in a matter of hours. Andy Herman is the past president of the American Society of Civil Engineers. It usually is safer because they're doing all the construction away from the traveling public. The president of MCM, the company that built and installed the bridge, was interviewed last Saturday, the day the span was put into place above the street. I'm exhaling now because it has been set. <laughs> Professor Surrett noted that was days before the collapse. It had to be something that was happening over time. And so it, it suggests, I'm not saying it is, it suggests that you had some sort of a straining effect. He said the problem could be related to materials, design, construction, or placement. In Santa Clara, Katie Marzullo, ABC 7 News.